Hey, it's a misty Saturday morning here in Dallas. What do you say we go hook a set of doubles? Okay, yeah, we're gonna hook a set of doubles today. And what I'm showing you is not a training video. This is how I hook a set of doubles. And I've developed a procedure over the years to ensure that everything gets checked and I don't miss anything. Doesn't say nothing ever gets missed, but this is how I do it. This is how I've always done it. Let's go start with the first thing, getting your dolly. Okay, first thing you wanna do is go find you a good dolly, good tires, chains, air hoses, all that, electrical lines, make sure it's all good. And when you hook it up to your tractor, ours have the pinnel hook so that you can move the around the yard on the, with just a tractor. But if you don't have that on your tractor and you end up having to pull a set of doubles, just hook this dolly up to your lead trailer, pull around, line it up with the rear, and either push that dolly back and go from there, or if you're really good, you can back that dolly up with that lead trailer. Then you find your rear trailer, which I have conveniently found right here, and you line that dolly up and you set it in front first. Okay, now that you have your rear set and your dolly set in front of it, you go find your lead trailer, which is, by the way, heavier than the rear. Everybody should know that, but if you've never seen any of this before and you're just figuring it out, the lead goes, the heavier goes in the lead because the way they pull, if you put a heavy one in the back, it's gonna push and be real squirrely, especially in bad weather. So you always try to put the, the lead trailer as your heavy trailer and your rear trailer as your light trailer. So let's get hooked up to this lead and we'll go back around and get lined up. Okay, so you back your lead trailer up in line with the dolly in the rear. Make sure everything's cool in the back between the trailers. All ready to hook and go. Then you hook them together and we'll go from there. Okay, we got them hooked. Now we gotta connect them, right? So here's where my procedure that I've developed comes in. It's like a checklist from my military experience flying in the Air Force. We had checklists for everything, right? So, they were all written down, but this one's in my head, done it so many times. I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna check the, the fifth wheel pin kingpin and the jaws make sure they're hooked you can just do a tug which I did but if you don't look you don't know for sure so the next thing I start from the back to the front so we're gonna crank the gear up first
get it all the way up so we don't drag nothing. Pick any of the loose objects up off of the highway. That's secure. We check that the handle's all the way in. Then, again, back to front. Airlines, light cord. Now this is jumping around, but I'm doing it one-handed, so. Blue. Red. And of course, lights. We gotta have lights. Bear with me here. Again, one-handed. Okay, that's in. Now, on these trailers that have these handles like this, when you first back up, you gotta keep them, you gotta set both brakes. But when I hook up, I just set the one, and if you can see there, the pinnel hook plunger is out. Now, if you had set the brakes, it would stay in. So when you unhook, you gotta set the brakes so you can get this, get the dolly off or it won't come off. So, what I do, save a little time, I don't know if it's right or not, but this is how I do it. When I pull this handle off to connect my airline, air is gonna come out because the brakes are not set. Air is to the trailers. So, we pull it off. hook our line and we're good. Sometimes it'll blow that glad hand gasket out every once in a while. Oh, see, this one's a little bit. But we'll fix that before we leave. But anyway, then you hook the airline to the lead. And you should be good. We will check all the lights. When I spot the dolly in front of the, the rear, I check all the tires and the sides and everything. And it's, again, when I hook up to my lead, I check my tires, seal numbers, all that stuff then. So, before we go, I am gonna do my Walk around, check all the lights, make sure everything's good, all the mud flaps and brake chambers are there. And then we'll get out of here going to Billings. All right, well that's how we hook a set. Now if you're doing triples, you would drop your lead that I have and do the same thing with the dolly and your real lead. It's still all the same. But again, from back to front, you don't miss anything. If you do it front, back, front, back, front, back, you're liable to miss something. It's not like I've never missed anything. I've gone to meets and got there. The guy came 300 miles to me. No safety chain <laughs> hooked up. They were hooked to the dolly and not to the front trailer. But that happens. So, that's how you hook a set of doubles. Next video, we'll show you how to break them down, which is a lot less complicated. So. Go down, subscribe, hit the like, hit the alarm bell for notifications so you'll get notified when I drop more videos. Go back and watch the old videos. We'll see you later.